and this uh, camcorder is a little different than the iPhone. Looks like shit compared to the iPhone. That's the channel meets Mental Madness. About, I can't remember, 15, 14 minutes and 50 seconds or 17 minutes, something like that. But um, man, like I, I've been having good experiences, but like for some reason I just, uh, they leave me really, really fast. But I've been having good experiences, that's for sure, but I've been sleeping for a month and a half in uh, that bedroom. And I actually think that bedroom, bedroom is bigger than this back bedroom. But anyway, so, but I'm changing rooms like, like tonight. I slept in there for a month and a half and it's time to change rooms. So I'm sleeping in the front room. So maybe I'll get um, experiences that I can remember better. <laughs> I mean, I can remember them just fine until, you know, until not long after I wake up or whatever. But yeah, I don't know why the aliens are, they're fucking with my fucking with my brain or something. But anyway, so yeah, cuz a, a couple of days ago, man, I I I went to I was in Austin, Texas, and I had a long dra drawn out scenario in Austin, Texas, and it was it was a blast. But but now it's, you know, 2 days later, I can't remember much cuz I didn't write it down or whatever. I didn't write bits and pieces down. But, um, but, but I had this, uh, but, but, but this morning, um, <laughs> well, no, I'll tell you about the other one I had first, about the, no, 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 that one was fun. Okay, so, so, so like, a couple, uh, I, I mean, down on, uh, Battlefield Street, there's that church right there. It's just some, I don't know, some, I guess you call it non-denominational church or whatever. S some fruity church, non-denominational. Non there's a building right there, a church, and uh, and um, so uh, so basically, um, Joel, you know, puts me in that building, in that area, right, in that area of Battlefield Street, that building, except in the scenario, it wasn't a church. So so basically, um. So, so, so I was sitting in this in this building. Uh, you know, it just felt like I was going to AA meetings or something. And I did go to AA meeting in there one time with my friend a long time ago. But, but in the scenario, um, so I was placed in that that building, and I was just kind of walking around, and there, there was like twenty other people walking around, some women, some older guys, and. Uh, and, um, like, I, I can't remember, wh like, wh what, why, I, I mean, I, I can't remember what, um, why I had been going there for, you know, many, many, many times or whatever, but, but in the scenario, I had been going to that same building, you know, at least once a month, every month for a long, long time, and then all of a sudden, like I said, I was just sitting there, you know, walking around the building, checking things out, and it, a, an older guy comes up to me and says, um, like, welcome to the Illuminati. You're, you know, par part of our group now. And then so, so another guy kind of looks at me like, it, it was time to tell you that all this time you've been going to these meetings and you didn't know what they were. Well, now it's time that you knew that they, <laughs> that they were Illuminati, <laughs> Illuminati meetings. But like I say, I had been going, but like I say, in, uh, in the scenario, I knew I had been going there, you know, for a long time, but I didn't know, I mean, in the scenario, I, you know, I, I can't remember, um, 
<clears throat> you know, what I thought I was, uh, right now I can't remember what I, you know, what I thought I was going to or whatever for those many months or whatever. Um, Cause I can't remember if it was, if I had the mindset of, oh, I thought I was going to AA meetings every month. It wasn't, it's just, I, that wasn't part of the, that wasn't part of the scenario or whatever. But all I know is I had been going to those same meetings, but it wasn't, Joel didn't program it for me to know what meetings exactly they, they were in the past. It, it, uh, all I know is in the scenario, I had been going for many, many months. And then now all of a sudden I find out that they were actually Illuminati meetings. And, and then, okay, so, yeah, and then I felt, you know, I felt, like, really good. I felt special. You know, I felt like, wow, you know, I, I just, I felt really special, you know. I mean, because there was only, like, freaking 20 people and that whole, you know. Oh, and then that, that one woman that comes in the Barnes and Nobles that wears the same shit all the time, wears the same white shirt and everything, she was there. <laughs> and there was a couple other people that were familiar, too to me okay so um and then um so i started kind of walking around and, and like walking around and checking out the facilities and then i i go into a little uh area where there's a basketball court but um the you know and it, it's uh, the building still needed to be kind of cleaned up and renovated and stuff and the skid steers whatever they're called um had to be kind of there was like some skid steers pallet uh, movers or whatever in the middle of the small little basketball court and um, y you know and I was like wow okay I could go shoot some hoops and um, so um, I knew you know that that had to be kind of cleaned up and everything and, and, and they were you know they were eventually going to clean the building up and everything and um, but then um, there was a mindset of like I knew that the meetings were going to change to different places you know every month and I was like, thinking in my head, well, I don't want to go to different buildings every month. I'd rather just come here every month. You know, I didn't want to just, you know, because I didn't know if other places were going to be many, 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 many miles from me or whatever. So that was part of the scenario, too, you know, that I wanted to just keep going there. You know, but I knew that somehow the meetings were going to change to different locations every month. Okay, but, but this morning I had this other funny experience um, where, um, oh, okay, now, I, 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 um, well, it, there was more to it, but, um, I looked up in the sky, and there was a big O, like, Joe was trying to tell me, um, Illuminati, <laughs> Illuminati people were, um, e e well, okay, so I looked up, and there was just, like, a big, whatever big commercial air airline is, what are they called, DC-10 or something like that? I forgot, just whatever the biggest commercial airline, um, t like today, it, well, I know a long time ago there used to be 600 passenger airplanes, but I don't really think those exist anymore, maybe 220, so we'll just say it was, you know, a 300 passenger airplane, so I looked up in the sky, and it was so weird, like, I don't know how the, Joel does it, I don't know how they, they do this, but, but, so I looked up in the sky, and there's big, uh, trying to get this paper, big airplane, and, um, and then he was trying to tell me, you know, Illuminati people hang out, and this big old, how do you draw an airplane, uh, and, and anyway, um, he was trying to tell me, uh, like, like, um, you could be going up there and doing stuff like that too eventually. But anyway, it was a big airplane up in the sky. And then, and, and, uh, it, but, but I mean, it was, like I say, it was just a normal big, you know, airplane. And then, you know, and then all of a sudden, but it was, um, like when I looked at it closer, it had a, I mean, it was like a whole huge, um, uh, like Disneyland was in there on there so to speak, Disneyland, I mean, all these many, many acres of land, Disneyland was, you know, in this big old airplane, so to speak, uh, and, uh, what was the other thing, 
Disneyland and um shit what was the other thing Disneyland and uh um fuck I forgot uh Disneyland what was the other thing that um okay hold on Disneyland oh oh yeah and, and um and and I, and I could see and all of a sudden I could I could see like big old buildings and stuff you know like like a Disneyland you know big old buildings you know like on top of the airplane like this big old other world you know Disneyland like high you know high buildings uh I mean it was all connected it was all you know in this airplane so to speak and um and also cruise ships there was a whole cruise ship, a cruise line, and I had glimpses of like the whole cruise ship. That was the thing that I was thinking of. The cruise ship and then Disneyland. But it was so weird. I don't know how how the heck, you know, one big airplane, how are you going to shove uh 300 acres of Disneyland, you know, plus a whole big cruise line? You, you know what I'm saying? But the aliens, they have this, this weird ability to do weird stuff like that. And and he was just trying to tell me, you know, Illuminati people, <laughs> Illuminati people hang up, hang up there and go on cruises and shit and go to Disneyland. <laughs> and uh, it was so weird, but it was all com compacted. It was weird. I don't know how they do it. So anyway, uh, and I knew that I could eventually be a part of that. Well, no, that was this morning, and then, um, and, oh, yeah, and then I kind of had some other ones, too, um, but I didn't write totally all the details down, but, um, uh, hold on, tell you, okay, hold on, I'm trying to remember, okay, I, this one I needed to write a couple more details down, but, um, tell you. Because I'm trying to think she came... Oh, yeah! Um, so so people are always bitching about spiders and snakes and shit at work. And so I was in my cubicles and this woman came... I mean, my coworker came to me and said, Oh, look at the spider that I found. And she handed it to me. And, and, uh, and, and come to find out, I was like, That's no spider. That's a tiny little alien. Anyway, it was a tiny little four foot tall alien like literally four foot tall little gray alien and it was alive and everything and she acted like oh she found the spider she was gonna hand me the spider and it was a freaking alien that was so weird okay and then there was this other um, experience I had where it's like I was going through this uh, pavilion in a park a pavilion at a park and I was, I was just walking through the park and there's some pavilions to my left and to my right and everything and up to the left was um, was the little center that you go in and talk to the conservation people or whatever and ask directions or whatever and then there was a highway up ahead but the whole time I was walking through the park there were, you know there was like seven to I was walking through seven to ten inches of water and I, oh my god there was like mamba snakes to my left and to my right and I and there was toads everywhere toads in the water turtles in the water and I, I hopped on some frogs or some toads and they were kind of you know almost like skates I was I was hopping on the frogs like skates it was so weird and they were moving along with me you know because they were on the bottom of my feet so they were hopping along with me or making my feet move it was so weird okay and then uh, with this one experience um, I was down in the basement uh, well, because my brother used to live down there, and I went down in the basement, and he used to have porno magazines and shit down there, and, like, condoms in his drawers, and I used to go down there and, like, look through his drawers and shit, and, um, but anyway, so, so I found this porno magazine, and, uh, and that's not the first time they've done this, they, they've, d Joel d does this a lot, anyway, I found this porno magazine, and I was flipping through the porno magazine, and the pictures just totally come to life like a true video and I was like how are the, how are they doing this how are the aliens doing this I was questioning that in the experience I was like how are they making them come to life you know in, into videos live action when you flip through the pages